Welcome to Missile Arm Solutions. Today I'm showing you a gun that I've been rather excited about. Uh, I've seen it at SHOT Show. It's a very highly anticipated firearm. Uh, it's the model SIG P210. And those of you who are not familiar with the SIG P210, it has a very special relationship uh, with uh, its, its military use, its law enforcement use, as well as its target shooting use. But it also has a reputation, uh, well-deserved, of being the most accurate semi-automatic pistol in the world. Uh, it has been known for that uh, throughout its generation. It's a fairly old design. Uh, it goes back to the 40s. You know, the pistol has seen service with the Swiss Army, uh, is, is the P210. It has also seen service with the German Bundespolizei. It's hard for me to say that word. I'm being Italian, not German. Uh, and also has seen military service with the Danes. Uh, and, and it was eventually replaced by all countries, uh, pretty much with the CP220 as, as a modern double-action pistol. Uh, but we're going to talk a little bit about the history of this pistol. So in the early days, it was designed for the Swiss Army as the pistol, Pistole 49. The, the slide frame is all steel, as you can see on here. Uh, it's got some very interesting aspects to it for as far as the rails are uh, inverted, uh, as, as they would be on a normal uh, pistol. You would normally have the rails that would be located on the frame and not on the slide. This is on the uh, slide, not on the frame. It was designed as a single action only pistol. Now at the time, you pretty much had double actions only uh, pretty much the Walther P38. At the time, you had the Browning High Power, you had uh, the Luger, you had uh, the Colt 1911, which were all single action. Similar with magazine capacity as well. Um, the initial pistol uh, was designed this was designed with double column 16 shot magazine, uh, but then it was changed to a eight shot magazine. It was chambered in two different calibers, 9x19 or 9mm NATO, as well as the 7.62x21mm. Uh, predominantly, it was obviously the, the NATO caliber, the 9x19. Served from 1945 to 1975, it was replaced by the P220 uh, Pistole Bible 75. Uh, as I said, it's, it's seen military service. The interesting thing about the Danes, uh, I'd actually seen uh, the Danish versions of these. Uh, I was in Denmark, oh, I'd probably say about four or five years ago uh, at their one of their main small arms headquarters, uh, they had a room that they opened up where they had, it was sort of a history of all the Danish small arms. Uh, you saw stuff that was obsolete and so forth. And we saw this, you know, I saw the P210 sitting right next to the Glock 17s that they had. Uh, I also seen some HK uh, USP 9s in there as well. The Danes were very, very fond of it, but you know, it's like anything else that, uh, you know, it, it does get outdated as time goes on. As, as time goes on, you needed a higher capacity, a more durable, more reliable you know, semi-automatic pistol, which you know had been developed over those intervening 50 plus years. Uh, but uh, those guys said that they really, really liked the pistols and the accuracy was was totally outstanding. The design was based on the the Petter model 1935A pistol. Uh, Sig modified the design approximately 11 times from 1942 to 1944. Uh, it was then called the 44/16. Retained from the original design was the self-contained firing pin and recoil system. The pistol was uh, 16 rounds, as I said, the original one. Then the SP-47-8 was adopted with an 8-round magazine uh, in 1949. And then in 1957, the SP-47-8 was named the SIG P-210. You know, the SIG P-210, uh, you know, again, we're talking about a single-action trigger. We're talking about one of the finest single-action triggers I've ever felt uh, in a semi-automatic pistol. It puts most of what you see with uh, match grade 1911s to shame. Uh, I will definitely say that. You do have a little bit of creep on there, but when it breaks, it breaks smooth. Uh, you can also see we have a target sight on here. We also have a fiber optic sight uh, on the front. Now, uh, the SIG P210 was also chambered in uh, an additional 22 long rifle caliber as well for training. If you look at the safety, we have a manual safety now. The pistol that we're looking at here is the, the modern uh, P210A. Uh, we will be showing you photographs of some of the original versions, but you also had a manual safety on the, on the left side, which was only uh, a safety on and off. There was no decocking capability because it was semi-automatic only. Now, the, the frame and the slide were manufactured from solid blocks of steel, which meant it was very, very expensive to manufacture. Uh, that was one of the downfalls of the SIG P210. But because of the way that it was manufactured, it gave it that incredible barrel to uh, slide fit and that inc incredible slide to frame fit that was absolutely rock solid and it, it also was unique because most of the time when you when you tighten up a slide uh, to a frame like that where you get it this tight you sacrifice reliability if it's not really heavily lubed you generally will have issues with with reliability not so with this for some reason this particular pistol this design enables you to have this tight uh, frame to slide fit without having any uh, reliability issues uh, so that was one of the things that was very unique about this having a match grade pistol that was combat reliable now, another interesting aspect about this pistol is the, we're going to be showing you some photographs of this, is the housing, which which has the uh, the hammer and hammer spring assembly. It's very similar to that of a Tuckerow TT-38. That's one of the things that it carried over, is it's having that little bit of a module uh, that's in there. 
Now, the accuracy in this pistol that it was known for was to have about a 2-inch group at 50 yards. And that is absolutely unheard of for a, a standard combat pistol. That, you know, the, that, that really is well above and beyond. Now, how is that for a combat pistol? Is that necessary? No, it's not. But it's a testament to the workmanship and the craftsmanship that went into manufacturing this pistol. At Shot Show 2018, SIG introduced their Model P210, which is manufactured here in, New, in the United States in New Hampshire. Solid stainless steel uh, slide and frame. Uh, that's all manufactured and mated together. Now, the MSRP on this thing is uh, $1,699. Now, let me tell you, if you were to look for an original SIG P210, you could be looking in the $5,000 plus. Uh, that's how much they are, they are worth, uh, the, the original ones. And I have to say, uh, the quality of this one here, you know, it's, uh, it is it is sort of modernized compared to the original one. They have modernized it to keep it up with times. And you're also seeing the difference in manufacturing from the 1940s with having the milling processes versus now CNC machines, which you're able to hold down much more tighter tolerances with the CNC machine. So you're looking at the classic pistol with modern production capability. Trigger pull is a light 3.5 pounds, and as I said, it's uh, it's absolutely gorgeous, and it is a pleasure to shoot. Let me show you a little bit about how this thing comes apart, and show you how the well machine this thing really is. So one of the changes that uh, Sig had done is they have a much more ergonomic grip uh, than you had on the original ones. The original pistols had basically a, a wooden, uh, just a grip panel on the sides. This has more of a, a curved gr uh, grip to it. So you have your magazine release. You have a single column eight shot magazine. So we have a manual safety. This is very, very tight. It's brand new. And again, you're basically getting a cocked and locked. You can also engage it with the uh, hammer in the forward position. And you can cock back and you still are in the safe position. You have your slide stop. As you see right there. Now for disassembly, we're going to close the slide. And we're going to pull the slide back just a little bit. And then we're going to push from the right hand side and push that through. And now the slide is going to come right off. When you look and see the slide to frame fit, you will see that the rails are reversed. So as you can see, the rails are located on the slide instead of the frame. And as you can see, everything is enclosed, which also aids in reliability because it keeps everything, everything clean. So as we drop that out, we're going to pull the recoil mechanism forward. And we can see the way that the link is held in place. The slide stop actually holds the, the, the barrel as well as the uh, recoil spring in, in position. You can see we have a uh, captured recoil spring. Pull the barrel out and you can see that just the quality is, is tremendous. You can see uh, no machine marks whatsoever. Um, this is what makes this pistol so uh, wonderful as a quality. Looking inside the frame, you were just able to see flawless machining. Flawless rails, you have a beautiful uh, nitron type finish on here as well. So that's all there is to the pistol for as far as uh, disassembly is concerned. The reassembly here, I'm going to give you guys some stats on this pistol. You do have a walnut grip on here. Uh, the slide is stainless steel. Uh, with a nitron finish and you have a three and a half pound trigger a barrel length is five inches overall length is 8.4 inches uh, with a width of 1.6 inches and the weight on here is not too bad at all either it's only 36.9 ounces uh, compared to you know, it's about that of a standard uh, military type pistol but considering what you're getting with it is pretty incredible pull back slightly and engage there we go. Now the ammunition I used was very specific for this. Uh, in fact, it's the only cartridge I used. I had 200 rounds of it provided by SIG. This ammunition was just released this year in 2018. It's a SIG Match Elite ammo. It's called the V-Crown Match Elite. And what we have here is a 147 grain V-Crown projectile with a nickel cartridge case. There were some people involved from the shooting sports uh, in the development of this ammunition, which included uh, Matt Michael and uh, Lena Michalak for, for precision target shooting. Now, the muzzle velocity of this is a 900 feet per second at subsonic with a 260 foot-pounds of energy. The SIG Match Elite ammunition uh, was designed for low recoil for competition shooting. The power factor of this ammunition is between 126 and 132, so it meets USPSA competition standards. Uh, this ammunition was incredibly accurate, uh, and we're going to see those results in just a second here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this ammunition and this pistol to the range, and we're going to see how it shoots.
Now, I have to say, I was extremely impressed with this pistol. This accuracy was unbelievable, as you saw from the targets, where uh, it turned the center of that bullseye into a complete bullet magnet. I shot this at both 15 and 25 yards. Targets you saw were, uh, were actually both 15 and 25 yard targets, and you could see how it was incredible. The 25 yards was uh, shot off of a bench rest, and the 15 yard was, was shot off hand. For any who has always wanted a P210 but just haven't been able to find one, if they did find one, it was way out of their reach, your answer to your prayer is here. Uh, this pistol allows you the classic P210 with the modern manufacturing technology available to make the best even better. I expect SIG will probably have some additional models coming out, but as of right now, this is the only model. You know, for the MSRP, a 1699 is a far cry off from what you'd be paying for an original, which would probably be 5000 plus. And um, I think that you'd be very happy with this as a competitive pistol, as a target shooting pistol. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please click like, please subscribe, and even better share.